be a three-way for the TNA heavyweight title at Sacrifice between you, Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe. Now, before you get there, you have an important step tonight as you and X Division champion Petey Williams take on the unlikely duo of Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Samoa Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even going to try. So, Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance, minus my 25% chance, and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning, if we used to go one-on-one, -on -one, and then add 66 and two-thirds percents, I got 141 and two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. See, but I'm going to break it down for all you ladies. Would you rather be with me, or would you rather be with Joe? Well, I think Joe's kind of nice. I mean, you know. See, you're one of those girls that like romance. I'm going to talk to all my freaks out there. Would you rather come home to me, a genetic freak, to be satisfied every night, or go home to that fat-ass small Joe? See, tonight, we're going to win, and I'm going to be the world champion at sacrifice. Come on, P. Let's go. Scotty, just like you always say, Big Papa Pump has got your hookup. Well, Maple Leaf Muscle is who you need to look up. Holler if you hear that. Can I ask you a question, Christian? Can I do that? Can you ask me a question, Little John? Yeah! yeah. I'm serious. You're serious? Okay! Christian! What? Small Joe, you call him for what he is. That fat bastard, you call him Sloppy Joe. This fat son of a <laughs> He's challenged all of us, has been world champions before, been in his business 15, 20 years, and this fat son of a <laughs> is going to challenge us all out. Scotty, calm down, calm down, okay? All right? He's fat! I, to I'm going to... I don't care okay, if he don't... I'll make here, him bleed. Scotty. And you're fat <laughs> I see the only thing you sacrificed when it was time to eat four Twinkies. You ate five. You ate a hamburger. You ate a hamburger with extra cheese, extra maize, and extra ketchup. Bigger is not better. You are genetic junk. Lennox, small Joe's got in the ring with me. He's half the man I am. But he starts hating on me because I call him a fat bastard. Well, don't hate on me, small Joe. Hate your parents because they gave you an extra fat soul fat cell in your X and Y chromosome. I know there's some rednecks out in the crowd who are fat, just like you, Joe, who wants you, them to be me. See, and there's rednecks watching TV right now with fat oozing over their belt line that wants you to be me. And after it's all said and done, you're going to be taking splinters out of your fat asses all night long because you got some fat asses. The only chance you have, you have no chance, but you had a chance, is you can run lickety split. Because you can't run because you got the fat asses. That mean it's going to be that way. And I'm going to have a line of donuts going that way. Everybody knows that fat son of a can't deny himself a creamy crust donut. As far as Christian Cage, he says it's his time, his area. Christian Cage wants to take your time to go to the gym, maybe work out, eat a steak, stick man. I beat him before, I'll beat him again. He's still a fat bastard. The only way I'd be afraid of him if I was smothering a Twinkie. Or I was dressed as a hamburger. Too fat! Out of shape! Backyard wrestlers who call themselves T3D! Well, this is you, you too fat roly polies! This is what a champion looks like! And if I looked as bad as you guys did, I would have stayed in the backyard! Why don't you just stand there and let your thyroid continue to spiral out of control and maybe you'll gain a few more fat cells while I'm talking to you. Small Joe attacking me like the boogeyman or something, attacking me from behind. See, I could do the same thing. 
Put a room full of donuts, wait till he gorges himself to death and attack him. Or a room full of Twinkies, same thing. I could be that, but no, we're the main event mafia. Helen from Dunkin' Donuts! From the great state of obesity! Team 3D! We're gonna be world tag team champions! Easy. God, I hate fat ass! No, 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 listen. She's not only ugly, she's fat. Do you gentlemen realize who you're in the ring with? She's Tag fat. team greatness! Oh, Joe, cut his hair, put some facial paint on him, so it's supposed to be some tough guy that he's gonna scare me or something. Listen, he's a fat, out of shape, wannabe Samoan. I see, I know Samoans. And he's no. Half breed. He is a half breed. Small. I know pure bread. Right. No, no, you're being paranoid, man. Look at me. I got a fat, out of shape, small one. Hunt me down with a sword or some machete. Like I'm a big piece of a hamburger or something. Like I'm a big Twinkie. I mean, look at me. I'm a genetic freak. What does he see? What does he see? Me? A piece of bacon. You take care of Sting on your own. Oh, oh man. And he ever was thrown over the top. Oh! That's the Gary Neelith combination. This is how they won last time. This is how they beat him. This is it. This could be it. What stop dominator? New champions. One, two. Oh! Oh my God! Willie's scooping him up, looking for maybe a running power slam here. Oh, had trouble getting him up. Steam is too heavy. Oh, Knox got taken down. Oh, my God, Rick Knox is dead. Oh, Rick Knox is dead. The deep sea diver taking a lightest. They want to do it as brothers. Look at that. Look at Rick Knox. What? No! Oh, Rick Knox! He's admonishing Nick Jackson. Oh! He just brained him with that megaphone. And that fan, he just came right back to Nick. I ain't gonna DQ you guys. Nick Jackson demanding to be disqualified. Rick not saying that the match has to be won in the ring. He's not gonna let the Young Bucks take any shortcuts. Woo! Rick Knox, oh! <laughs> Took me a second. <laughs> the most real two skinny butt guys yeah. in company history. There it is. And the back break. Oh, oh look. Just tearing at him like a puppy dog. Yeah. <laughs> Tags in, and now, good, oh, spitting in the face. Oh, he just spit on a fan. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm into it. Front roll, goes that back one. roll. There it is. <laughs> now, Michael Elgin impressed us with his agility. Kevin Steen impressing us with his ability to. Kevin, how do you think of the match so far, huh? Give me, give me, give me 
me one second. Okay, where was I? But anyway, I wanted to take the time to tell you that we have a YouTube series. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen it, it's called Being the Elite. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> 